Yeah, um, another hard-fought game, um, but that seems to be the way these days, and we're building a winning mentality, which is good. And once again, Zach steps up in, a, in those big moments and shows his quality. And what was Coach's message at halftime after equalizing and then after going down for Philly? Um, and what did you see on that uh, corner that led to this, this goal? Yeah, um, we had some tactical changes at halftime just to, to allow us to be a little bit more front foot. Uh, and that was kind of the message mentally as well from him, just to be a bit more aggressive, try and win some more balls in there, play the game in their half, which is what we do well. And I don't think we did that in the first half. But this team is strong mentally, and we came out the second half, and we prepared ourselves for that, and we were able to do that. And I think we were on top of them, uh, which leads to things like corners. Um, and we had quite a few. And when that ball popped out to me, I had one earlier in the game that I sent over the top. So my only thought was keep it down. And I saw a small gap, and luckily I just caught it well. And what is your thought process as you see that the game is going to PKs? Are you nervous about the possibility of taking one? Were you in the rotation? And what is kind of the message to your teammates to stay calm, the ones that maybe are first to step up? Yeah, I think it gives you a lot of confidence to have a guy in goal like Zach. Um, it just allows you to kind of free yourself up and uh, almost know that if you miss one, he's going to save quite a few, so it's OK. But like we see Connor tonight, no one's, uh, he's very good at taking PKs. And, and we still win regardless because of Zach. Um, but yeah, I think it just, there's a, a trust in the team and everyone just picks their spot and, and goes for it. And speaking of Zach, who's had a standout performance this entire tournament, what kind of leadership does he bring to the locker room as a veteran presence? And how does he kind of help the rest of the team calm down in a moment like this? Yeah, Zach's been incredible. Um, goalkeeper of the tournament, no doubt. Um, but he's, he's a great guy and he stays very calm. Um, and kind of brings a calm leadership, which is, is good and a bit rare. So I think it helps out with uh, a lot of the younger guys and people maybe that get worked up before big games like these to look at someone like him who's very composed and, and see that it's okay to be to cal calm in these moments. And back to a CONCACAF Champions Cup you know, appearance in 2025, what are you most looking forward to from that tournament appearance? And you know, what's to come for the rest of the season? Just proving ourselves against the best. I think that that's our goal. We want to make a name for ourselves, and that's the best way to do it is take out the big guys, and we can do that in that tournament. So that's the goal. And last one, you know, right back into the regular season on the weekend with Dallas. What do you have to do to make sure that your mind is right, your body is right? Chris said the attitude in the locker room is just exhausted right now. Yeah, we're all tired, um, but we'll get back and, and reset, and I'll have no doubt that this team will be ready to go for, for Saturday.